G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and in this video I am going to be drawing a Thanosaurus. What is a Thanosaurus, you might ask? Well, Avengers Infinity War has just been released, and there's been a whole stack of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailers popping out as well, so I figured, why not combine the two together? So I'm going to be drawing a Thanos T-Rex with a little gauntlet. So what we want to do is we want to lay out the body. It's going to be a very small body because this is going to be a cartoonized version. Probably have a head around here. It's going to be a very blockish head. And th the shape out here is coming out a little bit because it's going to be a very big emphasis on the chin because Thanos has a massively huge chin. I'm actually going to erase this circle, make it a little bit lower. Be a neck there, and the body will be around there. Also, put in a placement for a tail just to start off with. Put in some placement for feet. Gonna have a little bit of a, a circle here for one of the hands, and then the other hand is going to be a big gauntlet, like so. Okay, focusing on the head, we're gonna give it a three dimensional cube look, so we're gonna put in a shape there because the top of the head is going to be a little bit narrower than the bottom of the head so this side of the cube or rectangle or whatever you want to call it is kind of narrower at the top than it is at the bottom i'm also going to draw the top of the mouth like so and it's going to come down here and then up Next up, we're going to give it some eyebrows so we're going to give it the t-rex-esque looking eyebrows one there. These are just going to be little triangles for now. And then one around there. Then we're going to have a nostril here and a nostril here. And then over the top of these nostril holes, we're going to put a little lump over each of the nostrils. So one there, one there. Then we're going to want to do the front of the snout like so, I'm going to erase it a little bit so it's a little bit clearer. Switch it over to my sharper mechanical pencil for this. So we're going to draw the front of the lip. And then we're going to draw the front part of the lip by giving it a little bit of a lump. I'm going to draw a bit of a mound over the snout. And then I'm going to refine the eyebrow ridge, giving it a bit of a trademark T-Rex eyebrow ridge. And then I'll bring that around to here. So we've got a bit of a little bit of an S shape, because we've got the f top part of the eyebrow ridge, and then there's that little bit of a, I guess it'd be an ear flap behind. Then I'm gonna draw a line up here that connects the eyebrows together. And then I'm going to make the mouth look a little bit snarly. I'll use this opportunity to work on the lower part of the jaw, which I'll bring it down to here. Trying to keep in mind the shape of that cube box. And then, coming back here, up here, I want to draw an eye. So I'm going to draw the top of the eye lid. Drawing it at the bottom shape of the eye, which isn't going to be circular. Not completely circular. It's going to be slightly cut off. So it's kind of a flat circle. And then we're going to have Thanosaurus looking directly at us. So we draw yourself a little pupil and I draw a little tiny circle there if you can even see it. And then I colour in the rest of that circle and that gives a bit of an eye shine. I'm also going to give it a slight bit of a line circle curved thing like that for the eye socket. And we're going to draw a bit of a snarl wrinkle maybe I guess you'd call it for the lip. Now I'm going to draw some teeth, so I'm going to draw some fairly big-ish teeth, bigger than what, proportional than what they would be for an actual T-Rex, but this is a cartoon, I guess cute T-Rex, I don't know if you'd call this one a cute one, but it's definitely a cartoon. And then I'll bring it to that side, I like to draw the teeth on the different corners, and then I fill in the rest of the teeth. I know this is one of those things that my subscribers usually hate, but it's okay to erase, and I'm going to do that right now, because I don't think the placement of the teeth are quite how I want them. So I'm going to make that tooth a little bit bigger, bring that tooth there, and then make that other tooth a little bit smaller, and then fix up that bit of lip. 
Then I'm going to draw a line for the bottom of its lip and I'm going to draw some lower teeth in there. Not too bad. Still think that the shape of the, the low jaw can be fixed up a bit, so I am going to erase this line. I had a friend comment earlier about how supposedly peaceful I am about my erasing. That a lot of people, they get fed up and frustrated when they have to erase, but for me, I don't get that bothered by it. I'm just like, okay, well, it's not quite how I like, so I'm going to chip away at it and draw it again. It doesn't really bother me that much, so I'm sorry if it bothers you. Bring that chin down, bring it to about there, and then bring it up to about there. And then slowly crafting up and refining that line. Might now use this as an opportunity to tidy up, get rid of some of these roughing out lines that we don't need, and tidy that up. And while we're here, why not give the Thanosaurus some Thanos lines on its chin? Because that's what makes Thanos looks like Thanos, because of all those lines on his chin. So I'm going to do the same. And draw the back of the head in there, giving it a little bit of the back of the head and neck. So just a slight curved line there. So what I'm going to do is before I draw the gauntlet, I'm actually going to draw the rest of the body first. So that's the back and draw in a shape there. So after that hard jump cut, you may notice that it looks fairly different around this end. That's because I didn't like how the foot looked and rather than put you through the suffering of having to draw something that you thought was the final foot and then it didn't look like the final foot. So I decided to save you the misery of that and just draw it again and then pretend that I never drew those. So what I'm going to do is the top of the feet because I want the toenails to be chunky. So I'm just kind of loosely roughing in some lines using the overall shape of the head and the body and where the tail is to proportionize how big I want the feet to be. So I just, as you can see around here, I've got lots of little loose lines. So the inner shapes, they're the original sides of the feet, and then I'm just adding some extra lines around it to enlarge the feet. So you can always enlarge the size of the feet if you want. So I'm going to draw a two nail there, a big two nail there, there. And I'm going to draw the top of the toes now. I want to draw the back of the foot to see if it proportionizes with the rest of the image. I'll do the same with that. Because you also want to make sure that this foot is balanced with that foot visually. So I'm also working on little bits of this foot as well. And now I want to see if this toenail can be balanced with that toenail. Draw a little claw on that one and fix that up a bit. Draw this claw. Then I'm going to separate these toes a little bit by drawing a semicircle line above and a line there and a line there. I'm still not too happy with how this side of the toes are going, but I'm going to leave it for now because then I'm going to work on this toe, this side of the foot, and then once this side of the foot's more balanced out, then I will use this side to balance it out on that side. A little bit complicated, but you know, feet are complicated like that. So I do like how this foot's looking, so I'm going to pretty much just refine that toe, draw the bottom padding of the toes, and draw a few little of those scute scales along the toes. Fun little trick, before you draw some of the scute scales, if you have a lot of rough lines, erase those rough lines first, because otherwise it's going to be hard to draw in your scute scales and then erase the rough lines later. So I'm going to draw that, and then that too. Going to fix up and harden up these lines. Going to bring in a knee here, bring it down to there, and a very tiny ankle there. Tidy up there, then refine what I've just erased. Okay, so this side of the toe is fine, I think. I'm going to find that toe. I think this toe is fine now. It's this toe I'm not so happy about. So I'm going to draw the, the toe separation and the padding and the padding underneath that toe. And I'll probably just erase this toe and then balance it out a bit more. This toe is going to be smaller so the padding comes down lower. This toe is meant to be proportioned with this toe nail and I think that's better. Yes, much better. Maybe the 
shin is a little bit off now because I quite like how this knee placement is so the knee will be about there and then bring in the calf up around there the ankle and then nice curved line that will stretch down towards the back of the foot so I'm gonna fix up here still need to tidy this up a bit I think so I'm just it's just the subtlest of line changes can make a big impact in making your images look better overall, I find. So, that works better. If you can still see a bit of the residue of this foot, it um, you can see that I've just stretched out the line a little bit more to make that foot a little bit wider. But overall, I think that makes it look better. While we're here, I'm going to put in a little bit of a hip. I know I, I've heard the name of this bone. For the hip bone, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm gonna draw the tail out. I'm gonna draw the tail out to there. Tidy. And then what I'm gonna do is bring it down to a wrist. Little tiny wrist that you can barely see. And then I'm gonna draw in a bit of the neck. And now we're probably gonna have to focus on the infinity gauntlet. So for this, I am going to refine the shape of this infinity gauntlet. It's going to be narrower at the bottom, obviously. Going to give it some knuckle dints. Another knuckle dint. And then I'm going to draw a little bit of the fingers. Very tiny little bit of a lump that you'll barely see. And why are they tiny? I shall show you. Here is your knuckle. Can you see the knuckle sort of like, you know, there's, there's the knuckle, there's the knuckle. And then, if you want a slightly more of an angle, you just pull it back. You don't see much of those fingers. I mean, if you go like that, long. But if you go like that, you barely see any of the fingers. You just see a sliver of the finger, like you do there. See? And that's also a way of foreshortening and making your three-dimensional images look a little bit more three-dimensional. So we've got that. The only problem with a Thanosaurus is that Thanosaurus only has two fingers because Thanosaurus is a T-Rex. So we're just going to draw two infinity stones there. Probably one stone is for the T-Rex and one stone is for Thanos. Then I'm going to draw in a little bit of a shape around it and a little bit of a shape around that one. And then we're going to draw in a big circle here. Might draw some little flares of designy bits here, just to make it look a little bit more like it's, you know, the gauntlet and that's got some trinkets or whatever the word is, a little bit of design flare as it were. And then inside this stone is a little mosquito, because this infinity stone is a piece of amber. <laughs> And then I'm just going to go through and finish up this gauntlet, get this arm sorted, finish drawing the underside of the belly and this part of the leg. I think there's actually a few lines, I'll erase all this actually, just fixing that up. Oh, there's a few other things that I need to tidy up as well. I'm actually going to put a bit of shadow and shading underneath his eye. And then I think I'm going to go through all this and tidy it up and emphasize a lot of it with a ballpoint pen. I'm using a Bic 4 pen. I should put a link in the description below so you can get yourself one as well. But they're very good and fun for drawing. So I'm going to go through now and sharpen up a lot of the details. And I might add a little bit of shading. And then I'm going to do some coloring. The fun part about inking the gauntlet is I can finally make it look a little bit more shiny and metallic. Put 
put a little bit of a black shadowy bit underneath and then a little circle above to just represent those bits of shine. And then kind of put some subtle little shading there and then have our little mosquito. Which I think is pretty damn awesome. I might just put in some little bits of things in there for the claws. Oh, actually, I'm going to put a little bit of shading up here as well. Yeah, I'll put a little bit there. And sometimes I just like to put these little flicks in occasionally. But that's looking pretty good. Now, hopefully, the ink has dried. And I will start erasing some of that pencil. Now, if you don't feel the need to be taught how to colour in the rest of this, you can simply watch to the end of the time lapse and see how it all turned out. If you liked it, make sure to give Thanosaurus some love with that like button. Don't let him feel unwanted. However, if you do want to learn precisely how I went about colouring this, you can continue on by watching the next video right now. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification, or the dinosaurs might get very upset, and no one wants that. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheerio for now.